Welcome back. I am Olivia Flavia's Romantic Home. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some DIY, Dollar Tree, budget friendly, shabby, chic, crafting, and decorating. So I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And my latest video, I shared with you guys how to create this beautiful dining room chandelier with coffee filter roses. So if you guys missed that, go back and check it out. We're going to continue on with decorating for spring and throwing in some Easter touches, although Easter is right around the corner. So I want to share with you guys things that you can do that you can easily remove that Easter touch and just go into spring and summer. I know a lot of you all loved my shabby chic decor I used to do. So I'm going to be bringing that back with lots of romance and roses and all of that fun stuff. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps me out. Follow me on my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook. And if you love to get your content from TikTok, TikTok and Instagram. I'm trying to keep up with those as well. I'm a one woman show, but thank you for being here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. Let me share with you a beautiful, easy thrift store spring floral. So I found this cute little basket at thrift store. I hot glued some little Dollar Tree foam to the bottom of it, and then I'm adding in some greenery. I think this originally came from Hobby Lobby, but also a thrift store find. These are some Dollar Tree um, little lilacs that I had cut apart. I'm going to add them in to the greenery. So I love when I do my florals to do greenery first, and I want this basket to feel like like an English shabby chic garden. So I'm adding in these pretty little cream colored roses, some pink roses, and I'm leaving a lot of greenery to kind of make it look a little bit wild or kind of overgrown, you know, like you would see an English garden. I am so excited for this season of gardening. So this is kind of the inspiration. I still haven't been able to get out in my garden yet. I'm waiting a little bit longer just to make sure all the cold weather has passed, but the wheels are definitely turning. So I'm just creating this fun little basket and this is a great idea you guys can grab these kind of little baskets pretty much at any craft store or thrift store just get creative um, or use a leftover Easter basket even I like even having little florals like this on hand that if I have a friend that's not feeling well I can always bring them a nice little floral basket so it's kind of dual purpose okay I'm adding in some more um, florals in and around the greenery and I think it's looking really gorgeous now I am a little bit of a maximalist gal so you know that there's a bow coming up for this but you guys could always stop here or the other idea too is you guys could always use whatever colors you have on hand so I'm gonna whip out my handy dandy easy bow maker I love this because I do have neuropathy in my hands, so it kind of helps hold my bow in place, and I love to do big layered bows. So this bow is about a six inch bow, and this ribbon I grabbed at the thrift store. You guys, I'm a total thrifty gal. I like to go at least once or twice a week to the thrift store just because I'm always looking for treasures that I can use while I'm sharing my DIY crafts with you guys because I create all my own content, I buy all my own supplies, and so um, I like to have new ideas to share with you and I you know like to get stuff on a budget so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie this to the top of my basket I was gonna put the bow in front of the basket but I just thought it looked really cute on top let me know what you guys think now from the Dollar Tree I have this purple and pink pretty ribbon it was in the Easter section I'm simply gonna make a cute little loopy bow and add that to the top so that can bring in the colors of the florals that I have in the basket so I'm loving this so far but I decided because it's still going to be Easter. I needed an Easter touch. So I took one of those cute little Dollar Tree Easter gingham bunnies. I hot glued it to a shish kebab stick and I'm simply going to pop it into my basket. I did two of these just to kind of give it a tiny little bit of an Easter flair. And here is how my basket turned out. I also added in some cute little eggs. Fun and fabulous, very budget friendly. Let me know what you guys think and happy crafting. Let's create a beautiful shabby chic basket. I'm gonna start off by making a shabby chic fabric rose. So you're gonna take a piece of fabric, this is just a long piece of fabric, and you're gonna fold it over and hot glue it. And then you're gonna fold it again and hot glue it again. And then you're simply going to wrap the fabric just around in kind of a rose shape. And I like to take and twist my fabric and wrap it. And then you can add little dabs of hot glue as you go along as you see fit. 
this fabric is a little bit kind of a thicker fabric. It was actually an old curtain that I had used for recovering my chairs. <laughs> I love to repurpose and reuse fabric as much as I can. Um, but here is just what we're gonna do. We're just gonna continue to wrap and roll that fabric rose in and around the entire thing and it's just basically going to kind of build on itself this is such a fun project and a great way to repurpose and reuse really anything if you got a cute shirt you got a stain on it and you're not gonna be able to use it again you guys could always make fabric roses out of shirts old fabric um you know anything that you really have on hand just cut a, this was a really long strip of fabric i'm making several of these this was on a sunday afternoon if you guys can see my little puppy dog benji bear up there on the back of the couch and now i'm going to take a dollar tree floral planter and this big piece of lace i'm going to wrap the lace around the floral planter and i'm actually going to make kind of a mother's day shabby chic basket but this could just be like any kind of little basket really for anything you want to put goodies in or you could even make a floral arrangement in it i'm wrapping the lace around it and then i'm just going to take and press down where that hot glue was and i used the end of my scissors because when you're working with lace it's easy to burn yourself um, you can look for lace at your thrift store or at Hobby Lobby. Um, I find them in both places. I'm going to take another piece of lace and wrap it around again. Another th thought that I had after I did this project was it would be cute too if I would have painted this white. It might have made it a little bit more shabby chic, but I feel like the lace did a pretty good job of that. Now here's those big fabric rosettes that I created. I used two medium sized ones and I just hot glued them directly on to the lace. It's also gonna kind of do double duty where it's gonna hold the lace on even better. And then I took some pretty little kind of vintage style flowers and I'm just hot gluing them in and around the little fabric rosettes. So this is again, just a little fun Shabby Chic project. You guys have been so excited that I'm bringing Shabby Chic back. It's making a comeback i know with the love shack fancy and so all of you romantic shabby chic gals bust out all of your lace and flowers and we are going to have a shabby chic spring summer and who knows we might even go into fall and christmas now remember if you guys don't care for any of the style that i'm showing um you guys can always change it up to make it a little bit more your style here is it with a couple of cute little books and happy crafting let me share with you guys how I'm going to create this beautiful Easter spring swag using some Dollar Tree Deco mesh and this leftover Christmas swag that I just kind of pieced together. So I'm taking a pink roll of Dollar Tree mesh and a purple roll and I'm simply going to take the evergreen branches and loop them over on themselves and I'm going to create about 10 inch poofs. So as you can see I'm just kind of pulling the mesh out and um, poofing it and then you know taking the evergreen and um, crossing it over on itself and I'm gonna do another roll down my swag and I'm gonna do another roll up so I'm just gonna continue to add in deco mesh until I've pretty much used all the deco mesh and so I'm just making poofs and trying to fill in over um, where the greenery is I hope that makes sense um, but you guys can easily make a swag with a Christmas tree garland piece so this is just a little tip from me to you I've also shared with you guys how you can take two little Dollar Tree Christmas Christmas trees and zip tie them together and make a swag that way. Um, so this is just kind of a teardrop, teardrop swag. Okay, so here's what we have so far. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna create a pretty little bow. So if you guys watched my last video or one or the, a couple videos back where I did um, my um, garland over my front door, I used this striped ribbon. Now this striped ribbon might be a little bit unconventional for an Easter craft, but I'm using it because it's what I have on hand. And I'm gonna simply use my Easy Bow Maker and I'm doing a really big bow, so this is an eight inch on either side. You guys could also do an Olivia bow, and if you don't know what that is, just go and watch my Olivia bow video. It's gonna be linked in the description box of the YouTube video, and I'll try to post it also on my Facebook page. Okay, now I'm gonna take just some of this pretty little, it's a thinner green ribbon, and I'm gonna add that in and use tons of loops and then I had some of this pink ribbon. I actually 
keep all my ribbon and I'll undo the bows at the end of the season and then I'll store them and reuse them. So this is um, a couple years of reused bows on the pastel ribbon. I took a zip tie, zip tied the entire thing together and then I took another longer zip tie. I like to have multiple sizes of zip ties on hand. I use zip ties because they're just super easy to use for me. I have, um, you know, neuropathy in my hands and so they don't grip like they used to. I made, I cut some tails and then I'm fluffing out my bow. And so really all we have um, in supply so far is the deco mesh and some ribbon. I do have some of these coffee filter roses and a pretty little rose on hand. And then I have some little cute little Dollar Tree eggs. And I'm simply hot glue those in to the center of this. I wanna make two of these and put them on either side of my garage door. I also had some greenery um, garland and I just cut a piece of the greenery garland off and then um, added in a little rose at the base. This was kind of an extra step because I thought it might look nicer than the Christmas tree garland. But anyway, this is just an idea on how you guys can create a beautiful swag on a budget using items that you might already have on hand. Here is the final look. You still can see a little bit of the evergreen, which I could cover up with some other greenery, but I thought it turned out pretty fab fabulous since I'm repurposing and reusing a lot of these items. Very budget friendly, fun and fabulous. And I hope you guys are inspired to create something beautiful for your home as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For this DIY, we're going to make a fun little shabby chic rag garland. Apologies for this terrible angle, but not apologizing for the cute puppy dog, my little puppy dog, Benji Bear who loves to craft along with me. He is my creative director and my um, right hand band. He, you can either find him really loving to play, walking, playing ball, or he loves to be a little parrot up behind my back. As you guys saw in one of the last tutorials, he loves to sit on the back of the couch and just lounge out. Um, there's his little green ball. If you guys are new for the ride along with me, his little green ball is his prized possession. Um, he loves it. I've never been able to find another one. So hopefully we never lose it. And for some reason, he always knows where it's at in the house. But look, you can tell he really is wanting mom to play. So I'm going to finish um, just cutting these little strips up and then we are going to go to town. It's funny because any he's like a little toddler. Anytime he sees me doing something, he could be totally chill, but the minute I start doing something, he wants my attention. <laughs> but rest assured, we did have a fun playtime and then took a walk after this quick little cutting project that I'm trying to share with you guys. But what I'm doing is just cutting up strips of fabric because we're gonna make a cute little shabby chic garland. Okay, so once I had my strips of fabric cut, I'm going to take this piece of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm simply going to tie little strips of fabric on. This is super easy and us, honestly a great craft for kids. Um, I wish I would have cut the strips of fabric just a little bit longer because they were a little bit short, but otherwise you're just going to take and you're going to tie those strips of fabric on. Um, I didn't really tie them long enough to do a double knot of the fabric. I just did a single knot, which I think that's gonna hold on pretty well. Um, but you're just gonna take and put as many little fabric strips on as you like. I did have to cut part of this project a little bit short and I'm going to revisit it. Um, but again, this is a great one to do with kids. It's a great one to sit down and do really if you have a little bit of time on your hands and if you need to keep your hands busy. I know sometimes I struggle with anxiety or the blues and so having something that's keeping my hands busy is really helpful. That's why I've been making so many coffee filter roses and also these little rag garlands. I don't know, there's just something about keeping your hands busy that helps um, with those struggles. So um, this is a fun little project and it's also very user friendly. Here is the final result. I do want to make it a little bit longer with time constraints. I wasn't able to, but this is a fun little shabby chic project on a total budget. And here is my kitty cat, um, Tinky Bear. She greets me at the front door. She loves to come in and have her water and her food at the shabby chic dining room table. Here's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. He loves to play. I had just gotten back from the gym on this day. I do try to go to the gym. Um, 
usually four to five days a week in the morning. You can hear Benji Bear scratching. <laughs> That's him in the background. Um, but anyway, he does love to play. Um, he is a terrier and he's four years old. And I know it really makes you guys' heart happy when you see him playing. So I just thought that I would share that with you guys. I hope you guys are having a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. I had shared with you guys um, a couple of videos back about my sister, Brie. She is going through some pretty in, um, intense health um, problems. So please say a prayer for her. Also, I wanted to share with you guys that I'm hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. All you guys have to do is comment down below and let me know what your pet's name is or your favorite pet's name. I love y'all and thank you for being here. so much for joining me out of their fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. This is my sixth season on YouTube and my name is Olivia. If you're new, I'm Olivia with Olivia's from Made Tech Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama and I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you punch the little bell and click all, that will simply update you every single time I post a new video. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is totally free, but it really helps me out. This is my full-time gig and I am a one-woman show. So I'm gonna apologize in advance if things aren't perfect, um, but I just love to share my crafting and decorating with you guys. So anyway, I want to encourage you guys on your life journey in general with crafting, decorating, with raising kids, with retiring, raising kids, um, which I don't know, do we ever retire as moms? Um, I'm going to be an empty nester soon. So that was a huge life change for me. I have been a full on hands on mama and it has been my pride and joy and probably my greatest life's work is to be a mother. So um, you know, it's a different journey, I think, once the kiddos grow up, and I do know that I am looking forward to one day, hopefully, having grandkids. So, anyway, I want to hug all of your hearts so tight, no matter where you're at in life's journey. We all have things going on. We all have our hearts broken. We all have, you know, people coming in and out of our lives, and... I just want to encourage you guys to keep going because every day we wake up, it is a gift from God. It's our gift to share our light with others, to smile, to reach out with a text, a kind word, a kind comment. Please don't let the heartbreak of life get you down. Keep going. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't wait to our next video. And until then, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. I've come out here to say. Storm, a lightning strike as we hold each other.